Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Elliot Nicolo, aka Study L, and there is about one month until GCSEs begin in May. And it may feel like one month is a lot of time to get completely ready for GCSEs, but I remember last year, that one month went by really, really quickly. So today I'm going to be sharing some advice for you to get through this one month in the most efficient way possible in terms of revision and stop you from doing things that may also waste your time. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. First thing, you need to stop making flashcards. Unless you're very, very close to finishing every single flashcard you can make, for whatever subjects you're making flashcards for, stop making them because in one month, I've never seen it done that you just finish making every single flashcard you have. There's not enough time. I'd say either focus on getting pre-made decks of flashcards, making only a small amount of flashcards or not making any flashcards entirely because there's just no time to be spending hours and hours only trying to get down content into flashcards and not actually revising the content on them. For me, I know in the last month before GCSEs began, for English literature especially, I didn't have time. I didn't make every single flashcard I needed for English literature, but I knew I wouldn't have time to do it in only one month. So basically what I did was make just a few flashcards on each act of each play that I was doing on each book or novel and I just rolled with the flashcards I had for them rather than making every single flashcard that I needed for them and that still helped me a lot during the exam. Apart from that, right now making flashcards is just a waste of time so stop doing it unless you're very very close to finishing. Secondly, you need to start using all the past papers you weren't using before. I've given a lot of advice about how past papers are one of the most effective ways to revise for exams. Obviously, I've always said that you shouldn't be using past papers to revise for your mocks because first of all, it might be what actually came up in that mock. And also you didn't want to waste all the past papers you had revising for mocks instead of the actual thing. But now that the actual GCSEs are approaching in just one month, now is the time to be going through every single past paper possible for every single topic, for every single subject you're doing. For example, there are just years and years worth of past papers for maths. So you need to go through every single one of them. That is just the best way to guarantee that you have enough practice in for every single one of your GCSE subjects. And you must do these things in time conditions, in a quiet environment, you need to replicate the GCSE style of doing an exam paper. In this way, you'll be much, much, much more prepared when it actually comes to the GCSE. This piece of advice also applies to predicted papers. I don't know many websites that make predicted papers. I know First Class Maths does. I don't know if you have to pay for them. I know Primrose Kitten does. I do know that you have to pay for them and I don't really know any other websites that make predicted papers but if you can find predicted papers or if you can ask your teacher to find some for you that will be also really useful because you need as much practice as you can get and predicted papers are the best practice considering their predictions of what could actually come up in your GCSE exams and that is really useful. Obviously for practice papers for things like English language or literature you can't mark them yourselves just give them to your teachers and let them mark it for you and then basically just get the feedback for all those papers and learn from it and learn from it fast because once again i'm going to keep on saying it but it's one month and it's going to go by really quickly this also applies to practice essays you don't have to do entire papers you can just also do essays in the time allotted for them and just give those to your teachers as well to mark now at this point i would hope you know all the content and just need to keep on revisiting it. But if you're unsure, or if you really have massive amounts of content in a specific subject that you need to go over, the best way to go through a large amount of content for specific subjects is to use either Seneca for any subject or Cognito for all the sciences. In terms of Cognito, go through every single video he has on his website, not the YouTube channel, on the website, and then after that video, there's always a few questions. It doesn't take long at all. Watch the video, do the questions, get some active recall in because you're actively trying to recall information when you're answering those questions. That is perfect revision. Go on to the next video and then do it again and again and again for every single thing he has for whatever subject you need more practice on in terms of content. Or you can do this for Seneca, but for the sciences as well. But then Seneca, you can also use for any subject. And that's just basically going through every single little thing they have for 
each topic in a subject and it just mixed with loads of content active recall and just fun ways that you can revise and learn a massive amount of content without having to do much at all and that's a good thing to be able to do in this one month that we have Another thing, I know a lot of you will probably have CGP books. If you have the specific practice books for the CGP books, there's no way you finish those practice books. I would not believe you if you said you had. That's just more practice for you. Go into the practice CGP books and do every single question they have on whatever subject you're struggling on with, whatever subject you need more time on, and go ahead and do it. I'll be making another video for two weeks before GCSEs, which will focus more on revising for subjects that are coming first in the first half of your GCCs because there's one half before the half term and then another half after the half term but for now whatever subjects you're struggling on whatever subjects you're weak on you need to go and do the practice questions on those topics and CGP is just a great resource for that and I definitely know none of you have actually completed all the practice questions in there so get yourself on those practice questions they're really useful that's basically every single tip I had for this video my next video will be either how to get a 9 in English language or literature or how to have the motivation to actually study because obviously I know a lot of you will be struggling with actually getting the motivation to do all the things I always tell you to do in the first place so I will be giving you some advice to counteract that even though I'm also a massive culprit of just procrastination all the time so yeah that's practically all make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video and want to get more of the advice I'm going to be giving in the future and I'll see you in the next one